Hey beautiful people, how are you doing today? Welcome to Random Talks with AG. I am your beautiful host, Agazim Ejofo. Stay tuned, do not go anywhere. So today on the show, we have a beautiful guest. She's my friend, she's my sister. She is a first class graduate of animal science, but now in tech. Yes, she's someone that I run to whenever my head is full. I just go and release everything and she just gives me this kind of repose. Yes, so that's why I said, okay, well, I think we need you on this show so that you can come and share with my audience some of the things you usually share with me, the times when my head is full and I don't know what to do again. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Progress Chuke, also known as Frogzy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So Frogzy, hmm. mm -hmm. how are you doing today? On a scale of <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how good do you feel? Oh, broke the scale. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You see, Frogzy, Frogzy is always on a ten, like on a on a hundred. Frogzy is always like I don't know. Frogzy, is it that? nothing like you're ne never angry you're never mm. sad is that mm. it oh my god <laughs> i mean <laughs> like sometimes you know yeah it depends on the mood but i don't think i've ever seen you sad though at least since i got to know who you are i've mm. never seen you angry or sad it seems like this economy is not touching <laughs> <anyone. laughs> oh my god okay uh, so proxy mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen you know i said she graduated from animal science but she's now in tech. Like, Proxy, how did you do it? How did you move from tech, from animal science to tech? Two things that are too different now, like yeah. two parallel lines that never meet. Animal science, yeah. tech. How did you do it? Hmm, how I did it. Yes, so <laughs> I need to know. I'm sure a lot of us need to know. B, how did you do it? Okay. Actually, transiting from animal science and transiting from animal science to the world of technology, it's actually not easy. Just like you said, because of... Yes, no, definitely. There is their disparity, okay? Well, when I graduated from school, after studying animal science for over five years, because I also count that year, the COVID year. Yes. Yes. It dawned on me that really animal science wasn't what I was like 100% passionate about. Okay. Yes. So when I found myself in that crossroad, I had to like sit back, take a huge pause to really understand what I really wanted out of life. It wasn't easy because at that particular point in my life, my mates, like my peers, they were actually talking about moving forward with life. You serve, after that you work and do that. But a first class student, I mean, there was already a laid pathway for first class students back yes. then. I mean, when you come out of when you come out of school with first class, the next cost of the next course of action is actually to, you know further your studies after service outside or maybe here and okay. come back to the system, become a professor or a lecturer. But when I was done with school, I missed the excitement of being done with the entire school and everything. I had to sit back and ask that question. What do you want to do with your life? So you ask that question and what's your head? What, what the spirit <laughs> asked you? The spirit said, what you need to do is tech. Like nothing around that, your animal says. Okay, well, it wasn't just, I didn't just like jump into tech. Okay. Yes, it was a gradual process. Um. I mean, that period was a period of reflection. I got to like think about what exactly I wanted to do. I started by trying out things. You don't just jump into yeah. something. So what know? were the things you like tried out before tech, before you got to tech? Okay. Well, the first, my first venture was graphic design. Okay. Yes. 
naturally i do have like a good eye for colors and anything related to user interface okay so i started out as a graphic designer from there it wasn't just enough i was looking for something deeper you know something that will make me think deep and ah, all this <laughs> express graduation you, oh, also yes. did, you saw something you were deep but then something deeper ah, ah, it wasn't sister. enough <laughs> it wasn't enough so then with the information i had at that point mm. honestly information it's it's very vital yes having access to proper information so for those of you that read now, it's not for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for everybody. Information is right that way you read. It's not if you sit oh down and you're watching film. So after, while I was working as a graphic designer, I got to, you know, no, I got to. That was what birthed my journey in technology. Yeah, I got to realize that with technology, I will be able to like express what I felt from within. Yes. I then I started web development. I started learning programming language like JavaScript. I went into HTML, CSS. It was really tough. JavaScript gave me a lot of issues. Like it was a whole lot trying to transit. You know, it was just animal science yes, now. No. Things about agriculture yes. and a little bit of calculation. It wasn't like intense. But when I got to realize that with technology, you can actually solve real world problems. And what actually captivated me in tech is the logical problem solving aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Like it brings out the life in me. So from there, I don't want to deviate. From web development, I built, I started building like projects, websites majorly. Yeah. But it wasn't still enough. There was Voila. a void. So now, 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 where are you? Like, <laughs> what, what part of tech, what category of tech are you into now? Okay, so after my web development journey, yeah, it led me to software development. Okay. The part of tech that opens you to building visually appealing <laughs> applications that translates to various devices like your iOS, Android, okay. and also mobile application, desktop application, web application. I am actually majored in Flutter development. So the journey has been a lot, really. It's been a lot. It has its ups and downs, but we keep pushing. It must definitely have ups and downs. So there is no way it will not have ups <laughs> and downs. So this, this when, when you were transiting from anim this animal science to tech, yes. was there a time when you almost gave up? Like mm. you wanted to give up because it was very because I'm, I'm I'm sure it was like really very difficult for you yes. that transition. So was there a time when you said, "Oh, more, I no do it again"? Hmm. Was there ever a time? And yeah. if there was, whether there was or not, what kept you going? Well, I would really say that from time to time, I I did have like moments of self doubt. Yes, you know that period. You'd be like, "Am I really?" Is this really my calling? You know, most especially when it comes to fixing bugs and you stay on it for weeks and you are like, are you sure I'm on the right track? So I had times like that. Yes. And what really kept me going, I'm actually an individual who is keen on self-development. Okay. So personally, I'm self-motivated to work to improve. So that was, that's what kept me going. Okay. You know, uh, <clears throat> the way you you said, okay, you, you're keen on self-development and or maybe you also have like a strong mind and a strong will, but a lot of people are not like that. Yeah. There are people that if they were in your shoes transiting from a totally different world to another world, yes. it would be very difficult that they might stop on the way or give up or you know, some even get depressed along the line yes. and they are not able, they don't even know where to start from. They don't even know how to deal with it. And that's how, apart from moving from career to career or from this thing to one thing to another, it's in all aspects of our life, in making different decisions. Even at some point, there are times in our lives that 
things get really difficult. Things get hard for people. People get to their lowest moments and they don't know how to deal with it. Yes. So I want to know, could you share with us what ways you think people can actually get through difficult moments? Those times when they feel like giving up, what do you think people should do to keep moving? Because a lot of, there have been like a lot of suicides even. People commit suicide because they are, they are tired. They don't know what to do again. Ah, from this one to this one, how do I, you know, you even said you had reflections. There are people that don't even have, they don't even, even sometimes when they even start reflecting, that's when they even become more depressed. Yeah. So can you share with us, like, let's say the process, what you did, the things you did that helped you to keep moving up to this point i know that you're like you're a bigger person in tech now yes. you're not at the same level you were when you started yes. so what did you do to get you to this place how were you able to keep up and keep moving how were you able to to um what what do i call it how were you able to overcome these difficult moments what advice would you give to people who are in difficult times, people who are in difficult situations, people who are in their lowest and don't know how to go about it. What are those, what, what are those pieces of advice you'd give to such people? Okay, so first and foremost, I would like to talk about the part of depression that you, you mentioned. Yeah. Really, what exactly is the cause of depression? <clears throat> Number one, comparison. Okay. There is so much noise out there so much noise about what you need to have, where you're supposed to be, the level you're supposed to be in at a particular age. So a lot of individuals are focused on what they lack, yes. making them forget or trivialize what they have. So number one, focus, be appreciative of what you have. Okay. Yes, focus on what you can control as a person block the noise yes and not like so a lot of people they just dwell in things that they don't even have control a lot of us shall most even me that i'm talking there are times when i'm a victim of that yes. like things that we know that even if we think about it till tomorrow it, there's nothing we can do about it yes so it's better we focus on the things we can control that we have control of yes. okay keep yes. going so when, I'm, when, when I said block the noise, I'm actually talking about social media. Okay. Yes. Trust me, social media has a lot of positive impact. Yeah. Through the media, you can get information about, you know, latest technology. Yeah. Get to meet people, connect, get like job opportunities and all that. But know when to draw the line. Know when to draw the line. Because you being exposed to the social media can also have an adverse effect on you. Especially when you start living a life that is not real. Okay. Now, let me break it down. People post the best moments of their life out there. On social media. On social media. And you, you just woke up having a bad day. You just feel like... Or more. <laughs> or more, nothing they want for you. <laughs> and all these people, all things they really, want for them. But really. it's true, yeah. And the next thing you check your screen, you're just seeing people posting that, I got this, I want this. And you're just thinking, really, why, why is my life like this? Yes. So, I need you to understand that. People, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to understand that life is filled with ups and down. It is normal. <laughs> If life is just high, it's not life. Yes, true. And trust me, if you are high, high, it takes time. It's just a matter of time. That high will become your new low. So understand that this is real life. And whatever you see out there, it's, it's just people showing their best moment. And yes. that should not be something that will determine how you live your own life. Exactly. Because if people just go ahead and post their good moments, their beautiful moments, and never post their bad moments, and you use it to rate your own life. Yes. That's, that, that's crazy. You don't do that. Yes. Because it will, 
really oh, social media has has done good but um, oh, the bad <laughs> the harm that social media has done like to really. youth. Like people, you see people saying, ah, my wife is not going away. Just because maybe they went on social media and saw someone that got a G-Wagon. Exactly. Someone that got a house for their parents. Yes. And then you, that you're sat on, maybe that thing is even a lie. Maybe <laughs> the person, because fake, ah, too much fake life on exactly. social media now. Yes. Too much fake life. Yes. And to add to it, I also want to say that whatever it is that you are working on, currently you need to be patient with yourself okay. understand that it's a gradual <clears throat> process you don't just start today and expect next month or next year you are there yeah. no it takes time so relax take it one at a time yes yeah, so understand time. that the whole journey the major thing is to get out the lessons the le you know, sometimes when you want to, you know, when you want to become, get to the peak of your career, you just feel like when you get there, you feel fulfilled. But trust me, even when you get there, you won't feel fulfilled. Because as human beings, we are insatiable. There's always something in us that keeps, keeps us. Wanting. You keep yes. going. Yes. You keep going. So take the best out of the moment. Take the best out of the process. Embrace the lessons the process is trying to teach you at every part or stage of your life. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. Oh. No, it's, it's not. not easy. But it's something that I feel like you keep doing, you keep practicing. It's a conscious effort. Yes. You keep practicing. Okay, now I feel like this. Ask us, why, why do I even feel like this? Okay, maybe I should shut down social media for some time. Yes. I feel like we should normalize doing that. Yes. If you're always on social media, just say, okay, let me log off Instagram. Yes. Let me log off um, TikTok. Yes. Go off from those places first and try to calm down yes. and know what's going on. Then know that things being difficult is normal. It's something that must happen as far as your life. It's it's not always rosy. Exactly. Yeah. So we all should we all should understand that since it's not always rosy, okay, it's not going well now. No problem. Let what are we going to do? Yes. How are we going to help it? Right? Yes. Then before you know what's up, things will change. But it will still go down again. It does not mean that okay, Thank as you. it as it's go as it where I went up, it will not come down exactly. again. It's still because yes. that's what life is. Yes. Ups and downs, ups and downs. Okay, Roxy, <laughs> this is like, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for like everything you said. I am sure a lot of us have learned so, so much from the little that Proxy just told us. She has said things, she has said, giving us tips on how to manage our down moments, our low moments, learn how to shut down the noise yeah. because there is so much noise in our world today. Yes. And it's because of people's tech. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it's tech that is oh causing all this. This is tech now. If you don't uh. problem, <laughs> that's the <laughs> issue. So try to shut down the noise. Stay away from social media. Even if you decide not to stay away from social media, know that not everything on social media is real. Social media is social media. It's for the, for you to like show off your flamboyant life. You cannot go on social media and say, hey, well, I'm suffering. No, no, you can't do that. Yeah. Nobody does it. So know that everybody has their problems. And to have problems is normal. Yes. Okay? You, you can have problems, but that doesn't mean you can't solve it. You yeah. just need to find a way to get past your problems. All right, Roxy, thank you so much for coming. We are gradually coming to the end of the show, but before we go, okay. I have a puzzle for you to solve. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so, this here, let me show you for first. Okay. Okay, so this here is a decoder bow. It's a picture that says something. So, I want you to look at it and let me know what you think this picture is saying. Okay. You have, in case you think you have all the time, no. You have 15 seconds to actually solve that. Okay. So can you explain what this... Okay. Okay, yeah. This is... It's called a decodable, like, things that are merged together. And then you... you it's a puzzle just for you to solve it. Okay. It could be, like, a phrase, an idiomatic okay, expression, okay. a sentence, a word, 
something that means something it actually means something saying something so what yes. do you think that is saying roots roots what is it saying okay so you have 15 seconds i'm starting now to count okay i have something okay say now <laughs> all right but it's not actually like a word okay it's like I just want to say what I, I got from out of here, okay? Yes. So here I can see roads. Okay. And roads. Okay. But there's something common. Okay. And so and it's a, actually a letter A. Okay. What I can get out of here is that actually it doesn't matter okay. what we or you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. There's always something that will connect. You think everything is deep tech? <laughs> oh my god! You think everything is deep tech? Your time is all given. That's the thing. This is it's not tech, bro. It's not software <laughs> development. It's not flutter. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is crossroads. Road, road. Oh my god! This is a crossroad. Okay. Crossroad. That, this is what what he see. No, I think this, that yeah, is. I see, think. I think. You see, you don't. Yes. Always, don't need to always think. I you know, said this like, thing. It's you just have to, beyond. Yeah, like, you just I have go, to balance this thing though, because this one you've got to think about the bad. You about start exactly, it. All right. Anyway, so the answer to this is this is crossroads. Cross That's what this picture is saying. All right, Frankzy, thank you so thank much you. again for coming, for creating out time to be with us on this show today. All right, thank All right. you so much. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm so excited. I had a good time and I hope you did too. And you learned a lot, the ways to deal with your difficult moments. Proxy has helped us with some tips. Stay away from social media as much as you can. Know that things that you see on social media are not very real, okay? And know that problems would, must come. There are always ups and downs because we are living. If there are no ups and downs, then there's no need for this life. Okay, so just know that just find a way to find peace within yourself, no matter what it is you're going through. Do not give up. Giving up is out of the picture. Yeah. Never give up. Keep moving. Keep going. And you get to that place you want to go to, your, your destination. Okay? All right. So like this video, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not to my YouTube channel. I want you to also remember that we all would work together. We can work together to make the world a better place. So let's do that. Okay. See you in my next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. <laughs>